Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm actually wearing my Doki Doki Literature Club outfit, so I feel more into character. So let's continue where we left off. <clears throat> I'm turning around on Echo's voice. Really? I, would ha I wouldn't have respect that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess I could- I guess you could say that. But if the story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. So, surely horror, horror is often very successful and changing in the way you look at the world, and only, if only for a brief moment. Egg, I hate horror. Oh, why? Oh, why is that? Well, it's well, it's just. Nasuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Nasuki's eyes dart over for me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Nasuki? What? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. I looked like you were working on the poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and give it and give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cookie your cookies, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sorry sits behind Nasuki and puts her Puts her hand over it over her shoulders. I'm not cute. Nasuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Nasuki rates rates her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, you're not very confident confident writer yet. I understand how Nasuki feels. Sharing a level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. I'm trying to get a good picture of it for you guys. I think that could work. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your relatabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example to help Masuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Dot, 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 dot. I guess, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit silent for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Not, not in Yuri. I see in Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home. Write a poem of your of our own. The next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, uh, um. Da, da, da. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now we have a new member. I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Trisha? So if I stutter with re reading, it's because um, I don't, I'm not really good at reading, and um, sometimes if I felt like I read it wrong, I will re reread it. See, I stutter a lot. Monica smiled warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Uh, what's that? 
Now that we're back in to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly came forth to, with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Siri made me convince me to stop by and never made any but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and um I lost my train of thought. All four girls stared back at me with dejected eyes. But but I'm sorry, I thought Hmm Trisha You you all I'm defendless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear head decision if it's like this? That is right in the poem is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes lit up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sorry about her arms around me. Jumping up and down. H hey! Y you really just scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cookies, I would be super pissed. <laughs> then, then makes it official. Monica, please don't show me up your skirt. <laughs> Especially, I have boy viewers watching. Don't show us up your skirts. Welcome to the literature club. Why, thank you, Monica. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, I am officially to end today's meeting in a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica lo looks over at me once again, once more. Trisha, I look forward to seeing you. How you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can really impress the class star, Monica, with a mid-majorical writing skills. I already feel anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Nasuki clean up th their food. Hey, Trisha, since you're already here, do you want to walk home? Do you want to walk home together? That's right, Siri and, and I never walk ho walk home together anymore because she always stays after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The, the whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori. Nasuki. Yuri. And, of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll even... the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Sayori. I think Sayori. <laughs> Alright. I just need to make the most of... Circum... Circumference? I don't... I'm sorry, I don't... I don't know how to say it. And I'm sure good fortune will find me. Alright, let's start writing the poem tonight. Okay, so I think there's like many games to write poems. Oh! It's time to write a poem. Pick words that think your favorite club member think we might. Okay, I don't need to do. Um, hmm. How about Melody? Oh, that was not Suki. Whoops. Um, Flower Rain Cloud. Headphones, Holiday, Universe, Misfortune. Um, awesome? Oh yeah, I think so, Yuri. Jump, explode, bouncy. I'm gonna say jump. Oh, that's not sticky again. <laughs> I think when the girls jump, um, then we wonderful friends, merry, pure, peace, sunny, red games, feather, and skin. How about peace? Oh, that's sticky. I keep on thinking of sticky. <laughs> Bus proof, tears, rainbow, mirrors, let's go. Sparkle. So, Yuri. I haven't figured any of Imagination. Oh. Maybe Gary now. Heaven's heaven sent world win alone. Insight defeat 
joy. Happy puppy dance and they will love Precious Clumsy. Uncontrollable climax story party boop family breathe, empty breathe. What is this one? Oh here. Sing happiness and laugh. Why I'm sorry I look away. Childhood. Hope. Sweet. Ooh. Vanilla. I like vanilla. <laughs> Heartbeat. Excitement. Fireworks, graveyard, feather. Fireworks? Okay. Hi again, Trisha. Oh, hey, Monica. Good to see that you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. It might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, back in the literature club, I was the last to come in, so everyone else was already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Trisha. I hope it isn't too overwhelming for commitment for you. Making us dive headfirst into literature when you're not optim aku aku comes to it. Oh come on! Like he deserves a slack. Siri told me that she didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. I don't know if you plan just to come here to hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then we won't see then you won't see the end of it. Nasuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Mm-hmm. Nasuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated Nasuki pops back in her, into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Trisha always gives his best as long as he's having fun. So I'm obviously a boy. Trisha's a boy name too. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. <laughs> like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's just because your room is so messy. It's distracting. Hey, you should see my room. <laughs> and you and you almost set your house on fire once. Why do me and Sayori are so much alike? I actually almost set my house on fire once too. I accidentally put metal in the microwave. <laughs> and I accidentally put those like macaroni and cheese cuts that you put water in. I forgot to put water in it and stuck it in the microwave. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I mean, they are so much alike <laughs> in real life. I may be a little jealous. Oh, don't be jealous. How come? You and Trisha can become good friends too. Uh, um. S Sayori. Hmm? Dot dot dot. As you were serious, seems. Obvious in the weird situation that she just put her put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know. What? Wait, Sayori. I mean, I tried to be timid as I could. Eh, uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Siri made, made it sound like a big deal, but it's really not. Oh, Yuri. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Like always. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the sister witchy. Hey, don't, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. I sound like a boy in camera. I'm just talking normally. So any nice discernment from you is a is a pleasant surprise. 
Do I sound like a boy to you guys too? It will make me happy no matter what. It, is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out this book that I thought you might enjoy. It's, it's a short read, so it will make it will keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This, this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I, I'll like, despite me not reaching reading much. Yuri, thank you. I definitely, I'll definitely read this. I especially take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it. At, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I I expect Monica to kick off some schedule activities for the club, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Terry and Monica are having a a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face already buried in the book. I can't help to notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Nasuki is rummaging around in the closet. Oh, are we gonna help Nasuki now? Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I've sunk down in, in, in the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy this? Oh, shoot. Give me one sec. How am I supposed to occupy myself when something is literally in myself? Okay, how do I get out of this? Escape? Okay. I guess I could always read the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and then I'm listening to serious conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is the idea that literature club sounds too dense and electrical. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way to showing that to everyone. <clears throat> Monica, that speaks some something that speaks in their creative minds. Hmm. It doesn't solve the problem, though. Uh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come to the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing that speak in their creative minds. What's this? Siri is talking, like, really seriously. I rarely hear her deliberate like this. Huh? Huh, that's a good point. In, in that case, I think we should do food will do the trick. What, what, what kind? Ah, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! <laughs> Good thinking. Nasuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Nasuki makes the best cupcakes. That, that works out perfectly. Yeah, let me make it a tiny bit brighter for you guys. That wasn't why I suggested it. Okay, speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> they are so energetic and stuff. Dot dot dot. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details for the event itself. I find I find myself smiling. In the end, Siri is still unusually herself. But therein lies, I expected the reason I admire her. 
I like how, how, oh, it's a little bright for you guys, I'm sorry about that. And I have a little trouble in any motivation at all. Sarah, you can put her mind to things. You guys can't read it, can you? I'm sorry, you guys, I'm trying to see if you guys, uh, oh, 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 I think it's because the screen's black. So we can put our mind to things and make them come true in life. I suppose that we can end up letting her get in the case about things. Here we go. I can't help to wonder what would it be like to see a world through her eyes. Oh, whoa! Wah! Wah! I love my eyes, my serious face. Filling in my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. Sorry? What's wrong? It's it's your fault for sleeping like that. It isn't it isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? <laughs> wow. I'm so mean. You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're going to have less time for anime, you know. You need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. <laughs> it's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> that's what I do best. That, that's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleep. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh. Uh, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days the past week have you gotten up on time? That. It's a secret. It's a secret. I knew it. Come on! At least give me a benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori. It's written all over you. Eh? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? It's a, it's a figure of speech. You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look at your hair sticking out all over here. Yeah, I like her hair like that. Ah! I run my fingertips. I run my fingertips down the side of Sarah's hair, trying to straight straighten it out. Man, you really need to brush for this. My hair isn't really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. This, this one might be longer because I want to get to the, to when you read each other's poems. Look at your bow. It isn't straight either. And there's tooth we stain on your collar right right here. I don't see it. <laughs> I try to wipe the stain with my fingers. Why would, why, why would I do that? I'm sorry, I'm fixing my, my clothes. But, but, but nobody will ever notice that. Of course, of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. <laughs> hey, you meanie! And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Oh, it's called a blazer? I thought it was a jacket. Seriously, Sayori. Hey, it's okay. Maybe she just gets hot in it. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? <laughs> Why don't you have a boyfriend yet? Can I be your boyfriend? <laughs> eh. That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I started buttoning up her blazer from, from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh, that's really close. 
This is so funny. How is this funny? And why are you so close to my face? But I love your eyes. You're so, they're so cute. What's this? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind, kinds of things. Eh? D don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy. I'm happy you were like this. Aren't you? Ah! I... I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why... Why is that one so hard to close? Maybe her bosoms are too enormous. <laughs> like yours. I struggle to fully close my button near her chest. I, f I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing ever fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I when I bought bought it. <sighs> if if you ever button button it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. Oh, her like collar right here is not even button either. I mean, well, I need to button that too. I bought a mine. <laughs> what? What are you smiling about? It means my boobs are. have gotten bigger again. <laughs> Bosoms. <laughs> D don't say that out loud. <laughs> Any. anyway. You look much better now, so. Ah. Why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blader button up like that? But it's so s stuffy. Oh, wait, what? Was that Sayori? But it's so stuffy. Y y you It's not worth it, it at all. Sorry. He's only unbuttoned the blazer once more. Phew. That's so much better. So he puts her arms out and twirls around. So if you keep on, so if I keep on buttoning it, I won't. I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? Why are you saying like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let me do things like this. And take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all those things embarrass stop saying all the all these embarrassing things. Eh I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well anyone well well anyway, just focus on trying to wake up er a little earlier. Only if you fo Focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really better get taken care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so. Huh. So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, but I, I was joking that time. Man, I'm impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Like a son suddenly calls down. Why don't we share our poems? We vote now. Come on. Yay! Alright. Oh, it's almost three minutes. Trisha, I can't wait to read you. Trisha, I can't wait to re read yours. Yeah, same. I feel the sound excitedly, but Siri still tries away to read to read to read by the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah, yeah. Rela my relaxation ends. I can't believe I read do something so embarrassing. I could really find much improvement since I've never really done this before. Well, now everyone's ready. Why don't we find someone to share with? I I can't wait. Sorry, Monica especially pulls out their poems. Sorry. Sorry was was on a wrinkled sheet, loose leaf torn from the spiral notebook. 
And on the other hand, Manga wrote hers in, in, a, com in a composition notebook. I already see Manga present handwriting from where I sit. That's taking your can be well reaching into their box. I need to say myself. Ooh, so I'm going to read Sayori's first. I did. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing with with Sayori first. She's my good friend after all. Da da da. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Trisha. Uh, I love it. I had no idea that you were such a good writer, Sayori. You must have, have, you must have been seriously overreacting. I'm not, I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has been a little bit more constructive than this. Maybe even Nasuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot more other people, you know? So, when so when I read your poem, it's, it's not just a poem. It's Trisha's poem. It's a Trisha poem. <laughs> what? It's a Trisha poem. I write Trisha poems. And it makes me feel... Extra special. Like, I can f feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the seat against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy that you just... Uh, I'm happy that you just wrote one. It really reminds me of how you, you really... A part of the club now. Not to mention the fact I'm standing in front of you in the, cl in the club room. Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Trisha. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Trying new things is just for the other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori still feels the picture of the movement. Then again, I can't design the part of the reason I joined. So I am going to read Sayori's poem and then I'm going to end this episode too because it's getting too long. Knowing how much it means to her and all. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that it's lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold, hold you to that then. Yay! Now, now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, it's really bad. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through the blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead and help me out of bed, making the rub and sleeping from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish any wish away a rainy day i look above the sky is blue it is a secret but i trust you too if it wasn't for you i would sleep forever but i'm not mad i want breakfast what <laughs> sayori this is just i guess but did you wait until the morning to write this no did just a little bit. You you can't answer just a little bit. It's a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least it makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. I wasn't being mean. <laughs> I'm just saying that it made me feel better about myself. Ah, yeah. I didn't mean to say that. It was... I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put this? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I need eggs and toast. 
even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. I want to see you cranky. I really want to see you cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> that was so much fun. My Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, well, I guess I look forward to it. Okay, so this is where I'm going to save it. Bye, guys.